getting for Rose Cushy and Cushy is bold. Morning Richard and I can tell you that Essex have won the toss elected to bat and we're just watching for Rose Cushy forwards with their, with their Garrett's in full delivery again and Wesley drive straight down the ground and they'll pick up the first boundary of the morning Garrett just putting up there to see if there's going to be any swing whatsoever but over pitching and Wesley takes full toll of that six for one Bowls to Wesley, full delivery, and Wesley gives it a big drive and gets a thick edge to it, and is taken behind the wicket, and he swishes the bat in the air, annoyed with himself at that, but Essex have lost their second of the morning. Bowling to Cox, and Cox drives, and will pick up four runs for that one, and, well, he, he makes as though he's going to run, but jogs a few strides out of his crease, but it was slightly uppish on the drive, but only about ankle height and well wide of the bowler on his follow-through, and four runs... Garrett in and bowling. Oh, and driven and uppishly, and that was well in the air that time, but four more runs, this time down to long on. But very uppish that one. But looks like the ball almost sort of stopped on him, or he stopped his shot slightly, but he picks up successive boundaries. And a successful over from Kent's perspective, and they've taken the wicket of Tom Wesley in and bowling to Cox. Full delivery, driven and driven for four runs. Well, you keep bowling to Jordan Cox there. Great approach that he has. is in and now and bowling to Elgar. And Elgar drives and drives beautifully up to the long off fence and will pick up four runs. His first boundary of the morning and it's 41 for two. And Garrett come in and Elgar drives and will pick up four runs. It beats the attempted stop by the man diving at mid-off. But As Gilchrist runs in and that's just lent on by... Elgar and that will be four more runs. He's just lent on that, open the face on the bat to a slightly wide delivery from Gilchrist. Here's Gilchrist in and uh, bowling to Elgar who plays wide of third slip into the ground and will pick up four runs. It was a, a deliberate stroke from Elgar right over the top of it into the ground. Well, Elgar will be over the wicket to the right-handed Cox who will finally have a chance to get off, add to his tally and he does with a drive straight down the ground for four. He got in over the wicket to Cox, who drives that one again and pierces the gap between cover and mid-off. And he will just about pick up another boundary as that trickles over the rope. Runs in for his first ball of this second county championship match. And that is a full toss that has gone, been absolutely punished by Cox straight to the boundary. That is not how he will have wanted to start his spell. That was a, definitely a looseness, sort of knee-high. He'll be wearing that for a while as Parkinson runs in and that is smashed straight down the ground, back over the bowler's head for another boundary. Parkinson has not settled into this well so far. Cox won't just push and prod, he will go for his shots. As Parkinson runs in again and that one is hit almost identically over, back over the bowler's head, this time looping over mid-off right to lure batters into making a mistake potentially as that one is flicked slightly too full and that has just been picked off perfectly by Elgar. Parkinson runs in again and that one is hit straight down the ground but I think it's too far for the fielders and that will be the first six of the, the match so far. The, the, for Cox to bring up his half century as well. As Garrett turns in bowling full delivery and that one is angled down to the deep third boundary for four runs. A shout of catch because it was in the air. Over the wicket the leg spinner to Cox. Drives this one straight down towards us. One bounce, two bounces and that'll be four runs. Again he's taking on. I'm not sure he hit that quite cleanly. 125 for two Essex, Agar bowls, drive, what a shot, cover drive, a little bit over pitch perhaps on off stump, but Elgar has just beautifully driven that through the offside. Gilchrist runs slightly down the hill over the wicket to the right-handed Cox, who flicks that off his pads, and that will be four runs. In second, I think it's a K, J, I think it's JK as it's cut away by Elgar, takes the bottom hand off the bat as he does it. It's a lovely shot, fluid cut behind point this time. Chris runs in again round the wicket to Elgar, who punches that one straight through the offside towards the extra cover boundary, and it's bounced just over the rope, beautifully timed by Elgar, and that will just add insult to injury after. Agar bowls, lovely drive through the offside from Jordan Cox, watches that all the way to the boundary. Yes, it will. Joe Denley is no slouch across the ground, but that will be for Parkinson. Lots of air, but down the leg side, that is lapped away. 
swept away by Elgar for four runs. Lovely shot from him. From an Essex point of view, they just don't want him to get up. Any hint of being on top. It's a full toss. Hit straight towards Denley. It's gone through him, I think, and that'll be four runs. That was hit powerfully uh, on the full by Dean Elgar. Sorry. And there will be a bowling change with Garrett, who has been struck on the pad, and he's brought a weight through almost immediately. That is just what Ken have been waiting for. And Jordan Cox will have to depart for 67 from 104 as Garrett runs around the wicket to Elgar, who has hooked this one into the gap between deep mid-wicket. seen Critchley before. He does like to attack, and he does attack now. This one goes over the top, does it? It is six. And in fact, there's not a long off there anymore. Mock Parkinson out of the, the attack. Essex will be thinking and give them all sorts of problems. Ken, that one's over long on this time. That'll be four. And as Garrett runs in over the wicket, and that's played away beautifully off the back foot through backwards point to the boundary. That was a lovely, just sort of open. Gilchrist runs in again round the wicket to Elgar, who punches that into the offside, and that will just evade the fielder trying to run round from deep point, and he will few in the ring as Gilchrist runs in and that is punched down the ground for his boundary and that will be Elgar's century. He has played that shot so well today and on that he just leans into the gap towards mid on. This next one is swept away by Elgar in front of square on the onside and it will go for four. There was a tumbling attempt at a stop out there. Elgar. And Elgar Ooh. drives that one very nicely away, and it should make the boundary. It does. The man on the cover fence can't get round, and he picks up four runs. That's the 250 up for Essex, 251 for three, and Elgar goes to 116 not out. Here's Later Agar on. in. Elgar drives uppishly over the bowler's head, put an, put an arm up, sort of half-heartedly did Agar, which could be dangerous. Is Parkinson over the wicket too? Elgar pops a catch up. This time it is a catch for Tawandami. Yeah, yeah. Did that stick in the pitch? Not sure. But a false shot from uh, Elgar. Leaning in again and Critchley drives this time out to the extra cover boundary. And he picks up four runs. And he goes to another half century, does Matt Critchley. He goes to 52 and Essex to 264 for four. And he's around the wicket to the left-handed Paul Walter, who steps down the pitch. And that wasn't where it was intended either. He was looking to hit it straight. He's gone behind square on the offside. And the fielder has failed to prevent it going for four. Runs in and that's hit oh. high into the air. And it's just dropped over the rope for six. Well, Walter might be batting on one leg, but he has hit that really well down the ground. As Leaning runs in round the wicket, and that is smashed away by Walter, straight down the ground for a big six into the stand. Well, he might be batting on one leg, but he is timing these beautifully, and that's the second six. Four miles an hour as he runs in again, and that one is lofted high by Walter and taken. And Walter, who was slightly batting on one leg there, will have to depart for 33. He's just picked out the fielder on the middle around the wicket again and this time that has gone away behind square for four runs bowling to pepper and pepper goes long and high and full for six straight down the ground this time 347 for five that was a pure somerset still hanging on 281 for nine against surrey parkinson in and that's swept away by pepper into the gap and he will have four more runs that's just Perfectly timed sweep there through backwards square. Right arm over, in and bowl into Critchley, and Critchley drives very pleasantly, and cover has to run all the way around the boundary, and it's a forlorn run as well. Uh, just cuts that away late off the off stump. That's a lovely shot, actually, because there's no fielder out. Fourth batting bonus point, and there he is. Helps it down towards third and that's a catch by Tawanda Mayeye he's got his hand underneath it and that is a great catch too from Mayeye this over in and bowling to Critchley who just tucks that one into the offside calls his man through really quickly and a century for Matt Critchley he's made 100 from 168 deliveries four fours and one six I'm going to quick look over his shoulder but now Jaden Denny bowls the last ball of the day and it's uh, 
stoutly defended by Simon Harmer, who finishes on 12. And Matt Critchley will get the, the lion's share of the applause for Essex from their 4.21 for six.